Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of Easy Food series. In this video, we're going to get the list of categories and display it in a recycle review. And as you can see, this is the original app. And the first thing we're going to do in this video is to design the layout of this item. So let's do that. Go to your uh, layout file and create a new one. And I'm gonna name it category item. And create that and make sure that the parent layout is a constraint layout and now inside the constraint layout we're gonna have an image view the width is going to be uh, 80 sdb and the height is going to be 80 sdb as well add an id for this image which is image category and also i'm gonna add the constraints And we also gonna have a text view inside this design so text view and this text view is wrap content for both now let's give it an ID and now I'm gonna add the constraints for this text view so the first constraint top to the bottom with the image category and start to the start of the parent end to the end of the parent now the text size is 15 ssp and let me just add a text category name and text color is a black also the font family which is my font now I'm gonna add margin from the top and this margin is 3 sdp like that and and we forgot to add and we forgot to add scale type to the image view so scale type which is center crop and finally make this wrap content for both and, and as you can see this is our final layout but uh, just remove the bottom uh, constraint from the image view and your, and your layout will become like that now I'm gonna add any image in here to see how it looks like let's I'm gonna add this color now we wanna make a retrofit call to get the categories uh, so let's see our uh, so let's see our API and as you can see this is uh, the REST API that provides us all the categories available in this API so let's see as you can see these are all the categories we have um, so first of all we're gonna copy all of this and convert it to a class to Kotlin class so go to your Android studio and before that I'm going to change uh, the category meals and the category list names so click so right click on the category list and go to refactor and rename so the category list I'm gonna rename it to meals by category list refactor and the category meals I'm gonna refactor rename meals by category like that click on enter uh, select this and click on ok and now we want to create a new data class so go to your new Kotlin data class from JSON and paste what we covered in here now choose the class name which is category list and click on generate this will generate two classes the first class is category list and the second class is category which has the other information of the categories now let's create a retrofit call first go to your meal API and we want to have a function to get categories and this function will not take anything but it will return a call and that call is category list and this function is a get and we're gonna pass this inside the get like that and now go to home view model and we want to have a function function get categories 
and and now retrofit instance dot api dot get categories dot nq and in here you'll pass object from callback make sure it's from retrofit and that callback has category list then open curly brackets and override these two methods now in the on response method we want to put uh, this list inside a live data so let's go up and have a live data for that which is categories live data mutable live data this one and this will have a list of category close this go down and in here uh, first I'm gonna check if the response dot body is not null and we actually can do that in another way in Kotlin by like that so response dot body question mark dot let and here category list and now I'm gonna put the categories inside this category list inside this category live data so category live data categories live data dot value or instead of that you can use post value like that so categories live data dot post value and now I'm gonna pass the list inside this category list so category list dot categories now in failure I'm gonna log the error so log dot e and this is from the home view model Oh my bad and now I'm gonna log the error message like that to do string one more thing is the function that gonna help us to observe that live data so observe categories live data and this will return a live data of category list and we'll return the category list live data. Actually, this return a list of categories, not category list. So here, list category. And this should work fine. Now go to your home fragment. And in here, I'm gonna have a function, which is home mvvm dot get popular items then i'm gonna live observe the live data so observe categories live data and i'm gonna create that function and in this function we're gonna observe the categories live data and so uh, home and vpm dot observe categories live data and now pass observe now view lifecycle owner which is a lifecycle owner and now we want to pass object from observer or you can write observer and then open curly brackets to use lambda and here we have our category list so categories so all the categories inside this now to make sure that we actually get all the categories let's have a for loop for each loop and print all the categories in logs to check that we actually got the categories in the right way so here I'm gonna write category and I'm gonna log to D I'm gonna name this log test and I'm gonna log and I'm gonna log the name of each category we have in the API now now let's run the app and open our logs we actually made a mistake. We didn't call uh, we didn't call the function get categories. Instead, we call get popular items. Uh, so that was my bad. I'm gonna call get categories and now run the app again. And as you can see, we got all the categories in here. So the response was actually success, and we got all the categories. Now we can make 
Now we can make our recycle review adapter and set that categories inside our recycle review adapter. So go to your adapters and create a new Kotlin class, name it category or categories adapter. Uh, I'm, now I'm gonna set up this recycle review and I'm gonna speed up the video because I assume that you know how to set up a recycle review. All right, we set up this recycle view. Now on bind view holder, we're gonna set uh, the information to the views. Let's take a look on our item uh, design. Uh, we're gonna use a glide to set the image for this, uh, categor for this category. So let's do that. Go, go back to your adapter. And now I'm gonna use glide dot with, and now pass the view, which is holder dot item view. And now you pass the URL of our image and you can get it from this uh, list, from the categories list. So categories list, here you pass the position. And now you get the str category thumb. You pass the image view. The image view is holder.binding. We can't access to binding because we have to put val before binding. So now we're supposed to access the binding. Now binding dot image category, and that's all. Now we want to set the name of that category. So uh, holder dot binding dot tv category name dot text equals the categories list of the position, and now we get the name of the category, which is str category, and that's all. Now go back to your home fragment, and we're gonna set up this recycle review. So here, prepare categories recycler view. Create that function. And this function use binding dot recycler view categories dot apply. And we will set the layout manager. And the layout manager is a great layout manager because we want to show uh, we want to show three items in one row. And now we're gonna pass the parameters. The first one is the context, which is context. Now you pass how many items you want in one row. In, as we said, we're gonna have three items. And orientation is, uh, and the orientation is vertical. So grid layout manager dot vertical. And for the reverse layout, set it to false. Now we wanna set the adapter, which we haven't created yet. So we're going to create the adapter on the top so we can use it later. In here, private, letting it bar. Categories, adapter. And this one is categories, adapter. And now we want to initialize the adapter. Then we will set this adapter in our recycle view. Now before that, you need to take this function and put it above here. And now inside our and now inside our observe categories live data, we want to set the list inside the adapter. So uh, so categories so categories adapter dot set category list and you will pass categories. But uh, delete this for each. We don't need it. 
and that's all now let's run the app and see if we actually can get the categories and as you can see we got all the categories but the image looks big so let's reduce its size go back to your category item design and instead of 80 i'm gonna put 65 i'm gonna put 65 for both now let's see if it looks better well we still have a problem i think we should change the scale type to fit center let's see now and yes that work that works as we want so that's all for this tutorial in the next video we will see the functionality of the click on any category in this list so thank you for watching and catch you in the next video